Mike Butcher here with TechCrunch and uh, three months ago I had a chat with a guy in a London pub and said we haven't really done many events in Italy, maybe we should do that. Do you want to do a meet up in a bar? Uh, his name is Luca from uh, Populous and uh, we've ended up with this which is an entire day of startups here at uh, TechCrunch Italy in Rome. Well, the reason we chose Italy to do an event here, TechCrunch Italy, here in Rome, was uh, for a while now we've uh, roamed around a number of other European countries and realised uh, to our shame that we hadn't actually done anything in Italy. And also it felt like the right time. Uh, Italy is going through a lot of change right now, like many of other European countries. And But you can see from the buzz here today and the number of young people and startups that something really is happening. Uh, there's a lot of change going on and we felt like this is the right time to be here, the right time to do TechCrunch Italy and uh, we're really excited to be here. Una finestra sia per l'Italia sia per l'estero unica dove le start-up potevano fare networking con i VCs nazionali e internazionali eh, con persone che hanno lanciato e fondato aziende in Italia e anche in estero imparare dalle esperienze eh, da, da diversi paesi Next Styler. Now these guys are all about fashion. Now who's going to explain this? Next Styler is a worldwide showcase where fashion designers create the um, create their sketches and they are invited to upload them on our platform. Well, we have a fashion lover community which is composed by our users that that um, can vote the sketches uploaded by the designers and then the best rated one will be produced on Next Styler online shop. Designers get to sell their clothes. Yes, they they have the clothes, and uh, we um, our brand is ex exclusively made in Italy. So we produce in Italy, and uh, we want to create some collections, but not uh, a um, collection made of um, too many clothes. We want to produce only a series of clothes that uh, these uh, um, can assure uh, exclusivity of our clothes. Fantastic! Sounds perfect for Italy with this fantastic. Uh, heritage in design and luxury fashion. TechCrunch in Italia rappresenta una, da un lato un punto di arrivo e da un lato un punto di partenza. Il punto di arrivo è credo sia un po' il riconoscimento che l'ecosistema italiano delle start-up è forse pronto per il grande salto. Negli ultimi mesi abbiamo avuto alcuni casi di successo anche all'estero e penso che questi abbiano contribuito a alzare il livello e la percezione del livello di quanto si sta facendo in Italia. Apps Builder. So Stefano, tell us what Apps Builder is. Apps Builder is a mobile app device um, platform, mobile development. Uh, Make it easier for me as a mobile app developer to create apps? Yes, true. And has some interesting features like it's multi-platform, it uses a native application. So you pull out the content from your website and you drag it inside the, the platform and then you can publish it natively on the... How fast can I create an app out of your, on your platform? I think about minutes. Uh, minutes? Wow. AppsBuilder.com? Yeah. AppsBuilder-Builder.com Apps-Builder.com Thanks very much. Essendo la prima evento che l'abbiamo fatto in inglese, dedicata a startup, Um, direi che una delle cose che ho offerto era la prima volta che il mondo sta guardando proprio Italia. Il punto di partenza è rappresentato dal fatto che se vogliamo stare sui radar di TechCrunch e comunque dell'attenzione internazionale stabilmente dobbiamo continuare a mantenere un flusso di start-up con una certa quantità e di grande qualità. And I'm amazed to see the real number of companies uh, out here in the exhibition area uh, doing so many different things and um, I think there's going to be a lot more to come. Come out here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Get your lunch down. This is Risparmio Super, it's like super savings. We actually compare grocery store prices, we help consumers save time and money and we help retailers and brands check competitor prices and shoppers' behaviors. See, so it's a real sort of comparison shopping engine. Yes. So how it works, you just get localized, you put things in your shopping list, and by the end we tell you which is the cheapest store in your neighborhood. Uh, and um, you can also check if like an offer, a promo is really uh, convenient or not. 
and you can compare online electronics with in-store prices for electronics. L'Italia Digitale è una straordinaria prateria ancora molto da percorrere. Abbiamo un grosso gap sia nelle nostre aziende per quello che riguarda ad esempio settori come l'e-commerce, ma abbiamo anche molto da fare sul digital divide all'interno delle nostre scuole. Questo però è anche una grande frontiera di opportunità una grande occasione per il nostro paese per tornare a crescere. Io credo che in questo momento l'economia digitale possa essere per l'Italia fondamentale. Come siamo usciti dalla crisi degli anni 70, dalla crisi economica e sociale degli anni 70, scommettendo su nuovi settori come il terziario avanzato, la moda e tanti altri per tornare a crescere, così in questo momento storico noi potremo tornare a crescere solamente se scommetteremo su una nuova generazione di imprenditori che lavori appunto sull'economia digitale, sulla green economy e su tante opportunità che il Made in Italy è ancora nel mondo perché noi italiani sappiamo fare le cose. L'Italia può essere anche una base di partenza, le start up per definizione sono mobili, la mobilità però richiede una benzina che si chiama eccellenza, solo le start up migliori riescono a trovare opportunità anche fuori dall'Italia, in Italia possono talvolta trovare un po' di ostacoli, un po' di problemi, un po' di difficoltà, ma credo che questo sia un processo in corso e mi attendo che ci siano miglioramenti anche su quel fronte nei tempi a venire. I think that one of the things that uh, is important in technology companies and any kind of a company really is really to uh, fail fast if you're failing at all and also to not worry about it because actually failing is part of um, learning and creating something new it's be than better. Um, and when I talk to uh, friends at home for instance in Britain we often had a culture where if you, you failed or you were over and it was all over for you um, and maybe in like, many other European countries like, uh, the same thing happens. But in, in the real world that, that actually is no longer the case. You can't live that way anymore. Uh, with, the whole world is changing and we are all failing all of the time now. So we're just going to have to get used to it. In many ways, if you fail, you've learned something and you're going to do something a lot better the next time. And I think people need to have respect for people who risk something and fail and then pick themselves up and go again. I think there's a lot more to respect to be earned by doing that than not trying anything at all.